Okay guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. Today we're going to talk about the Salford uh, and Mueller ISO rate controller system. So here we've got <clears throat> three bins on this particular unit. We've got a Valmar 56 up front and two STs in the back. Um, I want to run through this screen and how to control everything. Here we've got our product one, product two, and product three. Um, it basically, that is our target rate. That is our actual rate when we're running. Um, it shows that we are off right now. And when we turn it on, of course, it tells us a bunch of alarms because the tractor is not on. Um, so it doesn't want to do that unless you've got your hydraulics powered up. But anyway, down here, this would be a simulated speed. These are the two fan RPMs. And this is your acres per hour. You tap that button and it scrolls over to all of your meter RPMs. So there's a lot of uh, different things to see in that screen. So settings is mainly where you're going to control everything. Start up here at the hopper. So up here is where you pick which product goes to which bin. And you can also turn on and off. So let's say you want to go to the field but only apply one of the products out of the bins, you just turn off two and three and you're only going to uh, disperse out of one. So here is where you uh, pick your desired product. Now, if you want to uh, change uh, your products that you actually want to uh, put in there, you go in here and these are your products. Um, click here and you can add a new product so here you would name it fertilizer accept and you pick product type it would be a solid target rate on that say it's 50 and uh, the calibration factor we really don't know but we're going to start with four get out of there and we go back to the hopper and we now have product number four being fertilizer as an option that we can choose in here so now if we go to hoppers let's back out of here hopper settings we can now set this to the new product that we just created fertilizer and we can turn them on and off Okay, so here is your metering settings. So target rate for each uh, each bin, you can change that right here from 50 to 55. Um, your This calibration factor is going to change depending on your calibration. Those are all going to be different. To do a calibration, you then click on this. We've got three hoppers here, so we pick which hopper we want to calibrate. Let's calibrate number one. How many pounds do I want it to dispense during this calibration? Let's catch 50 pounds at a desired rate of five miles an hour. We then press play. Nothing's gonna happen because the tractor's not running. If it were, the meter would spin. It would put out a rate, let's say it's 45 pounds. We would tell it that it spit out 45 pounds and it would adjust that calibration factor to, to spit out more product. You would then calibrate again, and it would keep getting closer and closer to where it needs to be. I would suggest calibrating a minimum of twice. This is the pounds per revolution number that it's going to be changing to lock on. So we've been through how to assign products to each bin. We've been through how to turn each bin on and off. We've been through target rates, and we've been through the calibration process let's now go into speeds so down here is your speed source if we just want to do a simulation like let's just sit here in the barnyard and run some product out to test everything I typed in five miles an hour as my simulated speed I can now fire the tractor up turn on my hydraulics and get every meter to spin here to simulate these rates at that speed. If I go to the field, I 
would have to change this simulated speed to my tractor wheel or implement speed depending on which one we are using. Over here is where we're going to add weight to the system. So let's say we're empty and we, we end up throwing 2,000 pounds in each bin. This is where you refill your bins. If it would let me turn it on, it would say that it's got 2,000. But that is in the weights and measurements tab. Um, over here is where you've got your implement. Um, this is where you set up your, your width of your tool and the geometry of everything here. It's basically from the center over and then this distance. It's pretty simple. Um, inside here, there is, this is settings for each meter. So you can change your target rate in here as well. As you hit the three dots, it scrolls through each one. You can see that. Fans, it just shows minimum and max motor speeds for fan one and two. Those are different because the two fans that I'm running are two different fans. Number of rows and working width. Pretty simple. We talked earlier, this is where you would add your product. You can also calibrate from this page as well. Target rate increment, that's something we haven't went over. As you're going through the field, and I'll show this screen here in a second when we fire it up, you can increase and decrease um, your target rates as you're driving through the field. So that's the gist of, of everything. You know, uh, whenever you first fire this up, there's the icon you're gonna find, the South for great controller. There's your home screen. To get into all your settings, you'll hit settings once and then settings again. And that's where you get into filling the hopper, changing rates, different meter options, fan, and the width. Um, under this initial, under this first gearbox, you're going to get filling the hopper. No, I'm sorry. You're going to get changing the associated product, turning on and off the hopper. And then on this meter, you're going to get target rates and... Uh, calibration. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and we are going to show you running. Okay, so I've got the tra tractor fired up. Click on my Salford. It is finished loading. So now I need to turn on my, my fan and my meter is tied together on both systems. Hopper is low because there's no product in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a simulated speed, which I've already got punched in. I do not actually, five miles an hour, go back home. So this is if I wanna sit in the barnyard but run product. Need to speed up my tractor to get my minimum fan speeds up. I hit the power button and now target rate and actual rate on all three of those. Acres covered per hour. We're traveling five miles an hour. There's our fan RPMs. I hit that one and it gives me live RPMs of each meter. Here's my sections. I can turn them on and off, of course. These numbers here are what is displayed on the scales right now. We'll go over the scales here in a little bit. That's the gist of it. Um, you can turn everything on and off right here with your master. 
meter spinning. Pretty simple. If we went back there, all the meters would be spinning. We could change our target, our rates right here. Number one, two, and three. So for example, if I wanted 55 to increase to 70, I just hit the increase button. If I want it to decrease, I go down. Same thing with hopper number two and three. This is the scale tab. Um, if we go back, this is where you'll find it. Digistar, whoops, Digistar. And I've got the three bins labeled, four ton, six ton, and 4056 cover crop. Uh, there's nothing in the bins right now. So if we wanna zero these, you highlight which one you wanna zero. We're gonna zero this four ton, and you press and hold on zero. That's really all you need to know within this scale tab. If you ever need to calibrate this, you hit the three circles and hit the three circles again, and you basically, um, there's a proportion value, mathematical equation you will have to do, and you will change this calibration number. Um, you'll basically take whatever the scale says over that number divided by what the scale needs to say. And you will, uh, you'll get the equation, you'll change that number right there. These scales have been calibrated. So they're all at zero, and that's really all you need to, need to see. Of course, they may bounce back and forth a little bit, but that's the gist of the scales. And now when you go in here, what the scale reads is what's going to be displayed. It won't let me do it because my nothing's on. But that's that number is going to be displayed right here um, on each hopper, how much is in each bin. So that's the overview of the ISO rate controller system on the uh, ST series. This particular one's a little bit different because it has three hoppers. But... Uh, that is how you change your rate, change your product, calibrate, fill your hopper, and uh, turn everything on and off. And uh, yeah, that's a general overview of the ISO rate controller system. Okay, today we're gonna talk about how to add products on a Salford ST series. So we're going to go to this screen here, click this button, click add product, we're going to name it, fertilizer, accept, click what it is, what target rate we want of it, calibration factor, which doesn't really matter, we'll, we'll dial that in whenever we calibrate, and uh, that is how you add a product. Now, what you can do with that product now is go into your hopper and you can assign that product, there's for to an existing bin. You have to create the product settings, product, product, add a product. You have to add the product or you have to create it before you can, of course, assign it to the to each hopper. And how you assign it to each hopper is gearbox, hopper settings, and here is your dedicated products. That is how you create and assign a product to each hopper. While you're in this hopper settings, you can also turn on and off each hopper if for some reason you only want to run hopper number one or hopper number two, or any combination of those hoppers. So that is creating a product, assigning it to each hopper, and how to turn the hoppers off. Now we're gonna talk about how to calibrate uh, products and how to change your target rates. 
This is the home screen. Settings, meter settings. Here are my three meters. I have three meters on this particular product. If you only had one meter, you would just have one. Target rate is right here. You click on it to change it. And we don't, those calibration factors are just what we would start with. Now we need to calibrate it to dial in that calibration factor. So how we get into here is you hit that button, you choose which metering meter you want to calibrate. I only have three in this system, so we're going to cal calibrate that one. I'm going to turn my meter on. I'm going to tell it how many pounds I want to catch out of this calibration. I want to catch 50 pounds at a, a desired rate of 5 miles an hour, and then I hit play. And it, the meter is now spinning, and this is the progress. Now, that one's going to take a while, so we're going to get out of here, and we're going to have it just spit out 5 pounds, just for video's sake. It's only going to take a little bit of time here. I want to show you what you do after product has been caught. So technically, we should be back there catching product and get, getting ready to weigh it. Okay, so now at this time the meter has stopped. This is how much product that the uh, brain in this ISO rate controller thinks that it put out. You're gonna weigh it. Let's say it put out four pounds. You're gonna change that to four. Accept, and now you hit play to accept. And what it did is it changed our calibration factor from four to 3.1. We accept it. Hopper is low, and now it changed that cal factor to 3.1. I would suggest at that point calibrating that one again, have it spit out more product. Catch it, weigh it. It thinks it put out 2.13, I'm gonna say you put out 2.5. It changed it from 3.1 to 3.65, except, and at this point we ought to be pretty dialed in on calibration. Now you can move on and calibrate the next metering drive. Hit number two and go through and, and do all of your calibrations and catch tests. So that is how you do a calibration. Settings meter, pick which meter you want to calibrate, and go ahead and do the calibration. This is also where you change your target rate. When you're doing a calibration on the ST series and you turn on your hydraulics, the fan and the meter are tied together. But in order to do a catch calibration, the fan has to be off or else the fan will blow all the product through without dropping it through to do a calibration. The fix for that is this little deal right here. You turn that and that shuts the fan off but leaves the meter spin. So you have to turn this when you do a calibration in order to do a catch.